everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my rose gold tablescape. This was inspired from a picture that I found on Pinterest and I I just couldn't get over how beautiful it was and I really wanted to recreate this and I did it last year and so this year I thought that I would show it to you and share with you how I did it. It was such a big hit last year. So if you'd like to see how I did this with my little shadow Kaya, then please keep watching. Whenever I'm preparing to decorate anything, be it the dining room table or the island in the kitchen, I always want to clean it first. So here I'm just giving it a good wipe down and earlier I pulled all the chairs out and vacuumed the rug underneath it. Just wanna make sure I'm working with a clean slate. This is a table runner I found on Amazon. It was really inexpensive. I think it was only like ten dollars um, but this is in the color rose gold they have so many different colors and so many different lengths so if this is something you want to recreate be sure you measure your table ahead of time now I'm just adding some copper chargers I found these at Crate and Barrel I've seen them everywhere lately um, I did get these last year at Crate and Barrel not sure if they have them again this year but I have been seeing copper ones in Williams Sonoma the thing that I found was really tricky was to find ones that weren't scratched they had a lot that were on display but they all seemed to be banged up so they they got me some fresh boxes from the back so if you're looking for this and you find that the ones on display are scratched up a bit then be sure to ask for some in the back for the centerpieces, I'm adding a bunch of different glittery pumpkins. Uh, I don't discriminate when it comes to sparkles, so I have some silver sparkle in there, some gold, some rose gold, some copper. You really want a variety. It really makes uh, your eye keep moving across the table. Some of these I got at Z Gallery. Most of them I got at Joann's because they have such an array of glitter pumpkins every year. And a couple of them I made myself. The ones that are white are the ones that I painted and glitterified myself. Ooh. Glitterified. I like that new word. <laughs> I do love a house that's full of roses and I have some beauties right here. I just, I got about five dozen roses I think and each dozen was a different color. They really reminded me of the sunset. I got some orange, some yellow with a little bit of orange on them, some magenta and as you can see I'm just kind of pruning them and shortening them and preparing them for their little vases. You want to, when you're cutting the stem of a rose, you want to cut at an angle because it creates a larger surface area so that the flower can soak up more water and stay fresher for longer. And then I either cut off or rip off the leaves and the little I don't know what you call those, those little phalanges that are cupping the flower there. <laughs> I just, I want as little green showing as possible. I really want it to be all about the color of the flowers. And I also trim off the petals that may have a little bit of brown on them. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I'll keep the flowers in the fridge if I'm getting them a couple days ahead of time. And it's just good to freshen them up in that way. And you absolutely do not have to go anywhere special for these flowers. I just got mine at the grocery store. And have fun when you're making these arrangements. Mix and match the colors, um, change up the heights of the jars. Most of the jars I'm using are empty candle jars. So as you can see, I'm getting different heights, can only get a few flowers in one, can get a bunch of flowers in the others. Um, and it really just gives a nice variety of color and height on the table. Thank you. 
Make sure not everything is so cramped up together. Remember, we're about to add silverware and water goblets and wine glasses and you don't want everything to feel so congested on the table and we're also going to add votive candles so you want to make sure that there's enough room in between the pumpkins and the flowers for you know a flame so that your tablescape isn't <laughs> short-lived and luckily i can camouflage my little salt and pepper shaker right into the pumpkins since they all match And now that I won't be doing any more reaching into the center of the table, I will add my china. So on top of the charger, I will add the dinner plate, followed by the salad plate. And then I will also add these cute little white pumpkin bowls that I got at Williams Sonoma last year. And you can get them in orange too, but um, there was so much orange and copper going on on the table, I really thought that the white would stand out a little bit better and make more of a statement. And finally, I will add some white cloth napkins that are tucked into a little copper pumpkin napkin ring that I also found at Williams Sonoma and on the day of I will be adding the water goblets and the wine glasses and uh, the silverware but I think since I'm doing this ahead of time I'll just save all of that and have a nice clean beautiful tablescape and once those candles are lit look how beautiful And that is how you do a rose gold tablescape. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making this one. And I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you all with my next video. Bye.